Good morning from a final day in the Outer Hebrides. I'm Tony Higginson and if you've been following me, I've been uh, documenting each day as I travel around Lewis and Harris. It's been fantastic. I didn't shoot a video yesterday. The winds were so strong, it was pretty much impractical for shooting video. I mean, it was blowing insanely strong and there was the danger factor. We're on cliff tops and I, I just couldn't risk it. So, and, and to be honest, I didn't really get much worth shooting, really. I got a couple of okay images, but nothing particularly special. Now, this morning, we've come down to a cracking beach. It's called, uh, well, what is it called? Something like Hushinish, I think. I think I've got that right. I'm here with an American <laughs> American friend called Scott. He's a, a cracking bloke. Uh, he's from Boston, near New York. And he, I call it like Hushinish. He goes, Horse's ass! <laughs> so, call it what you want. Anyway, it's a gorgeous, classic Outer Hebrides beach. But it's not obvious how to shoot it. I'm going to show you. You've got the beautiful white sands, the turquoise sea. We've got a very strong sun, as you can see, around in that direction. And what I've chosen to photograph is this scene here. So, it's quite a complex little shot. I've got the foreground because I love these detail patterns in the sand. They've got that rock leading me through and I've got the distant hills and there's just a little island over here which just adds a nice little bit of detail to the top left of the image. Uh, and uh, it's taken me quite a bit of time to get in exactly the right position uh, and get the shot because it is difficult conditions as I say when you've got such bright light you've got to work with it so you've got to work with the shadows and the actual textures and ripples in the sand are really the main focus of this image the turquoise sea and the blue sky they're just sort of the accompaniment if you will they're like the, uh, the salt and pepper this is the meat and the potatoes down here uh, so I think it's going to be a quite a nice shot hopefully anyway who knows it's hard to see the back of your screen in these conditions as well to judge so you've got to look through the viewfinder because that's the image you're going to see on the screen so I'm just going to have an explore now, see if I can pick more details. There's some rocks that are beginning to be covered by water because the tide's coming in. There's some bits of reflections and things, and maybe even some detail work, because these rocks are fantastic. So, I'm looking forward to a good day today. Uh, so, stick with me and see what else I can capture. Anyway, here's this shot. left hushiness behind now we're on the road back to shoot another beach somewhere i'm not exactly sure where we've come across this cracking bolt it's just the textures and the colors and everything on a beautiful day like this it's great so we stopped off i'm just quickly grabbing a few shots there she is lovely lovely old battered thing still looks in fairly decent nick um and these are the great things on the Art Hebrides. You get them all over, like little abandoned boats, abandoned buildings, and all sorts of stuff. And I just shot it handheld, F11, got about 200th of a second. I just shipped, just moved in and out and shot a few different compositions. Didn't spend too long on it, uh, and just grabbed a few shots, partly because the, they might be nice, but also sort of for my memory, really, of the trip. So just a little quick stop off. What I am going to do, once everyone else has finished photographing the boat, I'm going to move in and shoot a few of the textures on the hull. Uh, I love, you know, the kind of rusty metal, the blues and the reds and all that kind of stuff. I think that's going to be great. So I'm going to get in there uh, and fire a few of them off.
Hello, we've had some lunch and we've moved back down onto, uh, I don't know, that was on Harris, but we're still on Harris, but in a different section, not far down from Luskin Tyre. And I found this cracking little rock pool. It's just beautiful. It's just like a small indentation in the rock. And it's got, it's got the water on the top. So I put a polarizer on to cut through the glare. The sea's got, as pretty much always as when you've got this gorgeous light, the sea's a beautiful green color. Shot just works really well. Shot with a tilt and shift, just giving me that nice depth of field going right through the scene. Got some cracking waves as well. And it's just a beautiful shot. You can't tell till you get home. I'm always saying that, but looking at, through the viewfinder, I'm thinking this is my favorite shot of the whole trip. Uh, my friend, Tim, is here also shooting it. And he's got the similar setup, actually. Same as me, he's using the 24 mil Canon tilt shift. And uh, this is the shot. It's this rock pool here. And the, it leads you up over there with those hills in the distance and just some nice waves breaking. So a superb image, really glad I captured that. I'm gonna have a wander on now, see if I can uh, get anything else. But even if I don't get anything else now, I'm just really happy with that shot. Perfect. moved on it's just before sunset and I found a lovely little shot I came over it's a place called small beach it's my favorite my favorite beach I did a bit of footage from it the other day I think uh, I had a bit of a walk further along the coast not far I mean it's only about 60 70 meters and I found some nice rocks I shot over the edge I'll show you I shot over this edge here And I photographed the water moving in and out with the nice mountains over there on the horizon. It's lovely. So I shot that scene and then I made my way over to the beach. And I was just wandering around really thinking, what can I shoot? How can I create something good, something original, something new, which is always what I'm looking for. And I found these fantastic lichen that are just lit, side lit here. Look at that, gorgeous. Side lit with the setting sun and it leads you through to those mountains over there. So I've, I've done a fairly straightforward setup. I'm using, what, what grad have I got on there? A 0.6 soft grad, just to take the sky down a touch. I've got a polarizer and I'm just tweaking the two of them. I've not got the polarizer on, or on full and I've got the grad in at a slight angle just to get everything just right. I've got a, a six stop filter and F14 that's giving me about 20 seconds, which is just smoothing all the water out. I've done some without the filter on, but I think I like the slightly more surreal feel of the ones that have been uh, filtered. And that's really it. Compositionally, I just found a nice pattern amongst the rocks and the lines that leads me into a portrait. So, uh, not much more to say about it. I'm gonna wait for sunset. We might get a bit of color tonight, I doubt it. There's a big band of cloud on the horizon, but it doesn't bother me. I'm really happy with this shot, it's lovely. This is what it's all about. So, uh, this is gonna be my last video from the Outer Hebrides. I hope you've enjoyed following my journey around the island. It, I've visited most of the hot spots and a few quieter spots that are not maybe so often photographed. It's been great having you along. If you're one of my regulars, you know, as always, thanks for joining me. Comment, tell me which image you like, and uh, I've got lots more trips planned and different things I'm going to be doing over the coming year, so hit that subscribe, turn the notifications on, and uh, stay tuned in. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.